Let's look at solving mole balances for the continuous stirred tank reactor. So the CSTR is a tank reactor which we assume to be uh, well mixed and spatially uniform, like the batch stirred tank reactor. So unlike the uh, batch reactor, the CSTR is operated continuously, uh, typically at steady state. So the uh, composition and temperature are not functions of time. So let's look at the general mole balance and simplify it for the CSTR. So for uh, species J, the molar flow rate in minus the molar flow rate out plus the generation of the species J by reaction is equal to the accumulation of that species in the reactor with time. Okay, so if we operate at steady state, the accumulation term is going to be zero. Uh, so then we have an algebraic equation that we can, for example, solve for the reactor volume. And if we do so, it looks something like this. Okay, so alternatively, we can write this in terms of um, volumetric flow rates and concentrations rather than molar flow rates. So we can write that the volume is equal to the inlet volumetric flow rate times the inlet uh, concentration. So I'm doing this for some species A minus that at the outlet over the rate of consumption of A. So we introduced the term, the residence time, which we can define as the reactor volume divided by the volumetric flow rate. And in this case, we're gonna assume constant density. So the inlet and uh, outlet volumetric flow rates are equal. And so if we do this, we can write that we can solve explicitly for the residence time tau. So it's a reactor volume over the inlet volumetric flow rate. And that's just equal to the inlet concentration of A minus the outlet over the rate of consumption of A. So let's look at this for a uh, couple examples. So if we have a first order irreversible reaction, this reaction A going to B with a rate expression for the rate of consumption of A being KCA, then our residence time it's just going to be equal to CA naught minus CA divided by KCA. So we could use this expression, for example, to find the uh, residence time, either by varying the reactor volume or volumetric flow rate uh, to achieve a specified level of conversion. So reducing the uh, concentration from, of A from some inlet value to some specified value CA. Um, we can also serve the, solve this in terms of explicitly for the concentration of A. So this is going to be equal to just CA naught over one plus tau times the reaction rate constant K. Okay, so let's just look at this for one other example. So let's look at a irreversible second order reaction. So again, A going to B. Now with the rate of consumption of A being equal to uh, reaction rate constant times the squared of the concentration of A. So then we can write for this case, the residence time tau is equal to CA naught minus CA divided by KCA squared, the rate of consumption of A. So we can also solve this explicitly for the concentration of A. So here it'd be solving a quadratic equation. And so the solution to that looks something like this. Okay, so hopefully that shows you uh, some ways for solving uh, mole balances for the continuous stirred tank reactors.